Why is actress Shay Mitchell still denying her Filipino roots? A lot of people are upset about it. Let's talk about it. Shay Mitchell, you said you are Spanish, but we want to hear you speak some Espanol. Why are you denying your Filipino side? Let's run the clips. Uh, actress Shay Mitchell is embroiled in a controversy after comments that she made and didn't make about her heritage. Take a listen. My dad's Irish, my mom's Spanish. Oh. I can drink a lot and then I Spicy. Okay. Second cousin. Leah, right? Leah Salonga. Yeah. And she, yeah, she was the one. She would come over to the house and I would be so excited because I knew she was working on the Aladdin movie. And I'd be like, can you sing it for me? You know, I was obsessed <laughs> with it. She is Spanish. It is a hate crime. To erase your own people and name your colonizer, that is a special kind of self-loathing. Especially because the Spaniards that colonized the Philippines kept it all business and did not see the Filipino people as on their level to be racially intermixing. And in fact, Spanish ancestry is present in only 2% of the entire Filipino population. So the Filipinos that keep perpetuating this idea... The so Filipinos like this, were not even full Asian. The government didn't know we were. They just put us in an Asian category. Because you are half Asian and half Latino. See, what happened was, back in the day in the 1500s, Spain went to Philippines, made love to everybody, and then left us. That's not even a joke. That's internalized racism that has been passed down from self-loathing Filipinos for generations. I am honestly curious to know how Mother Precious feels. Because if my Filipino-Korean children told the world that they were Korean-Spanish, I'd be like, I don't know them. Boom! Listen, man, there she goes, Andrew. First of all, that's the statement that she's half Irish and half Spanish, so she's bleep and spicy. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what it means. Uh, Shay, you have to translate or to what you mean by that. And then in but her next clip, Andrew, she says that Leah Salonga, who's her auntie, actually is her second cousin and seems to stumble and kind of not want to talk about it. Yeah, basically, Shay Mitchell, if you are familiar with her work, actress from Pretty Little Liars and a bunch of other stuff, she has been kind of denying her Filipino roots, overlooking it, and not only not mentioning that she's Filipino, that her mom is from Pampangas, Philippines, which is a pretty Filipino place. She is actually saying she's Spanish. Now, obviously, we all know Spain did colonize the Philippines, but really, the Philippines is not Spanish. That's just not true. Right. So we are going to try to analyze if we can. Obviously, we don't know, but there's so much internet speculation going on right now. So many TikToks, so many tweets about it. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out SmileSauce at SmileSauce.com. All right, Andrew, some people are saying it's possible that her family identifies as partial Spanish people from the Philippines. And sometimes when people are like a quarter or an eighth Spanish, that's considered such a desirable trait in the Philippines that people who are even an eighth will claim being Spanish. Mm, it's possible, guys. Listen, we don't know her personally, and she hasn't spoken up about it. But the fact that there are so many Filipino fans out there waiting for her to just be proud of being Filipino because so many other artists are she's kind of missing out on an opportunity. So we're going to talk about why Shay Mitchell is still hiding her Filipino side. we got a whole bunch of other comments too. Let's yeah. get into so it. So real quick, I got to say this. Point number one, Andrew. Hapa's, they tend, not all the time, she is, uh, I want to say Shay Mitchell's like 36 or 37. She's from an era where being Asian was not cool. So she might be trying to lean out of it to more fit in. Mm. So I actually think that her parents probably told her growing up, yes, we are Filipinos, but we are the Spanish Filipinos. And then she said, I'm Spanish, I'm Spanish. Now, if you guys know Shay Mitchell, her husband's black, she hangs out with uh, in the BIPOC world. So she probably was like, yeah, Spanish, like a Puerto Rican, Dominican, because on the East Coast, a lot of Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Cubans, they just say they're Spanish. Right. That's an East Coast terminology. Right. So she probably was like, from Canada, like, Boom, boom, boom. I want to fit in with the black world. I'm Spanish. Okay. That's what I think. All right. That is what I think Fair. is going through her mind. And obviously, Andrew, she runs a lot of brands now that sell. She wants to be white and Spanish to grab the largest market, even though she is essentially extremely stretching the truth. Okay. So I think that, that, so that that's your theory. I mean, yeah. those seem like possible reasons. Yeah. All right, point number two, Andrew. Do you think it's possible that she feels like her cultural influences that made her expressive, drinking-centric are more Spanish? Because she's probably like, don't say Asian, don't say Asian. 
Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm not saying that she should say she's Asian if she does not identify with any other Asians, but mentioning her Filipino side would make sense because nowadays, I don't know if she's caught up to what is going on, but like people kind of know what the Philippines is. Like that's, 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 that's not an unknown thing. I get it. Maybe 20 years ago growing up, in Canada, she didn't feel comfortable, but people know what the Philippines is, but she's kind of out of the loop. So clearly, I don't know if she's really like, sometimes if the, like, if the only Filipino person in her life is her mom, and her mom came at 19 from Pampanga's Philippines and has not embedded herself into the Filipino community anymore, it's possible she just does not identify with her Filipino roots at all. But... She could still say it. Right. Maybe she's figuring Catholic, that makes her Latin, makes right, her right, Spanish, right. right? Point number three, Andrew, do you think it is just based off what era they're from? Like, for example, if you look at a lot of the younger Filipinos, Saweetie, her, they more embrace it because they're not in their 30s. Whereas a lot of people, Andrew, Bruno Mars, Vanessa Hudgens, both half Filipino, have been accused of not leaning into it or wanting to learn anything about their Filipino heritage. Yeah, is I definitely simply, no, no. I think I think it's a generational thing. Like you said, she is thirty-seven years old. She, she's from Canada. Probably doesn't come from the Filipino community. So, yeah. But unlike, but it's funny because like when you're Jalen Green or Jordan Clarkson, who they're even less than half Filipino blood wise, they can play into the Filipino side because it's kind of like more of a guy thing to rep. You know what I mean? Like, Olivia Rodrigo, she's vaguely Filipino. We understand the Saweetie reps, you know. Uh, but, but do you think that black. has something to do with the fact that the their black. other half is black? Yeah, yeah, I, black, I do think The so. blackness makes you more want to rep. Yeah, because I think when you're black, you're already a minority, all right? So you're like, oh, yeah, but I'm also part this. So, like, yeah, I can rep that like how I rep being black, and that is very common, right? Um, but, yes, for a lot of the mostly white people who are part Asian or part Filipino in this case, it is a little bit harder for them, and it's probably how they grew up, but it's so sad because there's really an opportunity here. Right. There's really an opportunity to play up the Filipino side for your own benefit, even for your own career gain. Now, maybe she doesn't want to do that. Maybe she's past that point. She, she's like, well, I don't want to play into a side that I don't identify with. And I'm like, all right, I guess. Uh, but saying you're Spanish is, is just not... True. Point number four, Andrew, other hoppas with Asian moms have kind of been accused of this. And recently, Chinese starlet, uh, were like Eileen Gu, has kind of seemed like she's leaned out of being Chinese after making $20, $30 million USD in China. And it's sort of like becoming more like, yeah, I'm, maybe I'm more white or just like American now. And a lot of people are being in China are actually questioning that as well. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, she did play the China card pretty hard. So she would... That is legitimate criticism. Yeah, let's just get into the comments section. Somebody said, this was like the most Filipino thing she's done, denying her Filipino side. And then other people said, is this like a really common thing? And then a lot of people were basically pointing out that from colonized communities or places that have been colonized for hundreds of years, it's not, it's not uncommon. Mm. Um, Andrew, we knew a Vietnamese girl who every time she got introduced as Vietnamese, she'd always be like, a French yeah, that's true, and I don't think that happens with Vietnamese kids anymore because actually French blood and Spanish blood. So French blood in Vietnam doesn't make up a huge amount, to be honest. But but uh, it does indicate you were part of the aristocracy, right? Yes. Now, having Spanish blood doesn't make up a huge amount in the Philippines either, but if you are of Spanish blood, that usually... There are some implications that you come from a good family, you're from the upper class or whatever like that, you know, old money or old at least uh, of the uh, 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 of the aristocratic class. Right. Um, other people, of course, were taking it back to colonialism. Somebody people people said, I'm Haitian. That doesn't make me French. Or somebody said, I'm Brazilian. That doesn't make me Portuguese. Just because those were the places that colonized us and taught us their language and culture. Yeah. Um, I think it's interesting because also Filipinos, even the ones who don't call themselves Asian, they at least call themselves Pacific Islander. And mm. then third, some of them say Spanish. I know that there's always the joke that Filipinos are like Hispanic Asians or Latino Asians. Right, or half Latino, like half Asian, right? Yeah, they're not really half Hispanic or half Latino. Not how, half. They're how actually, much do you think it is, though, when you do meet somebody who is half Chinese or half 
East Asian and half Latino. They do look Filipino, though. No, I know. I get, I get the joke, of course, but they're at, in reality, it's actually not half Latino, half Asian. Right. Somebody said that there's, this is actually a concept in this field of sociology called ethnic options, where basically people can pass for the identity that is most beneficial to them as long as it's a visu like visually can pass for it. Yeah. Yeah. In a racially centric society, that is people's like optionality. Uh -huh. Now, the morality of that, you could say that, but, but honestly... I don't think Shay Mitchell cares that much. No, I don't like, think she like, cares. Like, I don't think she's going to address it. I don't know. I don't think so. I think calling herself Spanish probably allowed her to move through this world easier, and especially in the entertainment industry, and that's probably what she's focused but, on. But it is goofy, and here's the part that I'm not going to force. I would not, if I could, first of all, I have no power over her, but I wouldn't force her to rep for Filipinos if she really doesn't feel it. But if you're going to rep for Spanish people, then where's your Spanish at? And what are all your Spanish traits? Like if she wants to say, hey guys, I'm actually Spanish washed. Like I just feel Spanish in my heart. Right, and right, that's like, my identity. I saw, sort of saw myself as a more suburban J-Lo. Yeah. And I'm like, well, are, so you're Latina? Say Latina. Like, are you going to go in this route? Are you going to be Latina washed? Are you going to speak Spanish? Are you going to do this? I'm like, if you are going to kind of shun one side of your identity, because your mom is from there at age of 19, it's not like your mom was adopted from the Philippines and then raised in a Spanish family. If that was the case, if her mom was adopted yeah. from the Philippines, raised by a Spanish family, I can see that. that. That would make sense. But I was like, where's all the Spanish influence here? I guess... Here's my takeaway, guys. Listen, everybody can feel however they want to feel about this. Some people are defending her, saying, yeah, I mean, just let her do it. She's not full Filipino anyway. Um, or like we said, some people said, yeah, her family might also have told her that they were Spanish Filipinos, even, yeah, uh, if, they, even if they were mixed. Because that's like based off how they identify within that fishbowl, but it doesn't fully make sense outside of that fishbowl. It's, man, it's general. I'm not going to look at the hoppers to be the revolutionary leaders of anything. Okay, that's fair. Let's be honest, especially the ones with the Asian moms and the white dads. I'm not looking at them to be the leaders. Of, of Asian, of the Asian voices. Yeah, of the Asian, like whatever movement or whatever you want to call it, Filipino movement. I, right. I would caution against that. Right. Because they, not, not that they're bad people, but they have a lot of optionality and they use that optionality given the situations to benefit their own life. Yeah. Which is not really wrong, I guess, in an individualistic society, but just don't look to them for a collective win if they're being individualistic. Listen, it's true that I, I do agree that all humans are opportunistic on some level, but some humans have that desire to be more opportunistic and jump ship more and have just more options. And since Shay is ethnically ambiguous... She's not super deep in the Filipino community. She's not super Asian. She does have options as far as her identity and where she wants to go. So I guess don't look to her for some Filipino leadership. Don't expect her to rap. It's not the biggest deal, but also I think just a lot of Filipino fans, because there's a lot of Filipino people who probably watch the show and like, you know, they are just fans of media. They're a little bit let down. Right. And she would deny it so many times. It's like, Shay, don't be like Peter and deny Jesus three times. That was it, Peter. I forgot. But like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she's like denying and, and denying it. And here's the thing. I'll be honest, because there was this case. I'll pop it up right now. There was a recent half Chinese, half white actress who was like kind of dissing on her Chinese side or like in a, not in a hateful way, but kind of joking. like joking on her being like, oh yeah, well, they'll eat anything on that side of the family and kind of like stuff where, you know, if you're full Chinese, you're like, well, why would you say it like that? But like, I'm saying in the Hollywood world, that's not going to hurt their career at all. Nah, nah, nah. It's actually going to, yeah, it's going to have no impact. It's just going to have impact on the internet for the, you know, people who care about the community. Well, Shay, you're not going to get invited on the Fung Bros Hot Pop Boys podcast or any of that Asian Hollywood stuff. All right. I guess so. I guess she doesn't benefit or doesn't get hurt by it. Whatever. Listen, she's going to live her life. But I will tell you this. If you're going to keep calling yourself Spanish and you and you get spicy, you mean like a Latina? I'm assuming that's what she meant. Then uh, She probably meant like a Bariqua. That's honestly yeah. what I was thinking. She was thinking Puerto Rican. Well, then let's see it. Yeah, maybe she identifies as a tan person in America, whatever that may be. In her right, opinion. right, right. Anyway, guys, let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. Shay Mitchell calling herself Spanish, not Filipino. Big deal, not a big deal. Let us know. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys be out. Peace. Peace.